Okay, now that we have the basics for interacting, what I want to do is set up some kind of system here where we can have items that also inherit from an interface that allow us to easily interact with, well, the items. So we're going to go ahead and create a new C++ class of the type actor, and I'm just going to call it item. So this is going to contain pretty much anything that is interactable in the world for the most part. So we're going to have item, then we're going to have a couple classes derived off of that, which could be just honestly blueprint classes because we're going to contain most of the information that we need inside of a struct that will be used for constructing our uh, inventory widget as well. So I'm going to create an item, select public, and I want to put it in a folder and let's just call it actors, right? And hit create class. Okay, once that's done, back in your IDE, let's open up the header in the .cpp. Let's go ahead and fix the include. So with the item.cpp, we want to include. Apparently we can't just go directly to actors, which I thought we could. So we're going to do inventory shop tutorial, public actors, item.h. And let's see if we can just cut this first portion off. No, we cannot. So we're going to leave it like so. Want to disable tick. Remove the tick function out of the .cpp and the header, like so. So we just have a bare actor class with really nothing in it. Next up, we know we're going to need a, we need a mesh. So what we're going to do is have a u static mesh component, and let's just call it item mesh. We're going to make this a u property. It's going to be edit. And we'll do edit defaults only. We're going to set the category to equal tutorial just for my sake and leave it like so. So from here we have our item mesh. Now we want to go ahead and create it inside of our constructor. So we're going to do item mesh equals create default sub object. The type is going to be u static mesh component because that's the type of the class or the variable that we used. And then we want to give it a name, so text, static, mesh, component. Or you can really just kind of ignore it. And then finally we do root component equals item mesh. Last thing, let's include components, static, mesh, component, dot h. So pretty much it's the same thing that I've done a million times before in all of my other tutorials. So we have our basic item mesh. We have everything we kind of need there. And now let's just set it up so when we pick it up, we want to destroy it. However, we do not want to have a necessarily a specific function inside of this class. So what I want to have it set to is I don't want to have to, let me find it, in our interact function, I don't want to have to cast our actor every single time to each individual class to, for example, like interact with it. Instead, I just want to have one cast that I do, which would be just an interface, and that's it. And from there, be able to call that function. So we're going to have just a basic function for interact. And in our case for item, interact is going to add it to our inventory. And that's it. So we almost need to construct, because I don't necessarily, I kind of want to go a different route with this. Instead of having... It's set up so when we add the item to our inventory, we go through and we simply hide the mesh, or we hide the actor, disable its collision, and keep just an array of pointers to the actor. Instead, I want to create a array of structs. So when we add the item to our inventory, we destroy the actor that we picked up, but we add the struct that the actor can add to our inventory instead. So this way, we're not having, you know, just a bunch of pointers to actors. Instead, there are no actors until we decide to do something with that, you know, our inventory. Like if we wanted to drop the item that we have selected in our inventory, we would then spawn that actor based upon information found inside of that struct. So for the time being, let's go ahead and create our interface. Let's make it destroy the actor, or in this case, a item when we hit it, and we can go from there. So let's create that interface. So we're going to go to public. Let's go to new C++ class again. I think it's all the way down at the bottom. Yeah. Scroll down and you'll see Unreal Interface. Hit next. 
And let's give this a name of, oh, what would be a good name? Interactable interface. And hit create class. All right. Once the interface has been created, we can go ahead and fix up that include real quick. So we're just going to go ahead and include, let's see, inventory shop tutorial, public, and our interactable interface.h, and close the .cpp because really we don't need it. So here you can see we have actually two classes. So we want to add everything inside of here. So as you can see by the comment, add interface functions to this class. This will be what is inherited to implement the interface. So we're going to create our, function, our functions right here. So we're going to do virtual, if I can spell it right, void, interact, and just set it to be empty. But on top of that, if we really think about it, well, actually, I'll, I'll, I already had to uh, talk about this, but we could make it so we are forced to implement this function. So for example, if we inherit from this class, so we add this interface to our act item class, we can make it so we have to create an implementation of it by setting it equal to zero. So that way, if we inherit from I interactable interface and our item, item class, and we don't, you know, override this interact function, it will throw an error and not let us compile. So in our case, we, I believe we want to do that. I can't see any reason why we wouldn't. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add a public section to our a item or a item class. We're going to override it. So we're going to do virtual void interact and override it. Now you'll see we can't do that. Well, first off, we have to include that interface. So we want to include the, let's see if we can just do it. Interactable. Now it's just open. So we're going to include public, sorry, not public, inventory shop tutorial, public, then the interface. And still we have this issue. So we must do a comma and include the I interactable interface like so and public. So now we have our interact function. We overrode it and we can have the implementation right here. So that's really all we actually need to do. So now we can just simply add stuff to this function here, in which case I just want to destroy this actor. So I'm just going to put in destroy. Next up, in our inventory shop component, or shop tutorial character, I'm going to go ahead and include, let's go ahead and include, well, let's see, let's include our item. We want to do Inventory shop tutorial, public actors, item.h. Go back to our interact function here. And let's replace this. So we want to check if it in, is the type of interactable interface. So I interactable interface. I'm just going to call it interface equals cast to the I interactable interface. And what we are casting from is the hit results actor, like so. So we're getting our hit result. We're getting the actor that the line trace hit. We're casting it to the interface that we just made. In which case we can do interface. And call interact, like so. Let's go ahead and close down the editor. And relaunch and see what happens. Alrighty, back up here, let's go ahead and go to our actors and create a blueprint class called BP item from our item class. Let's go ahead and create that. And let's give it a mesh. We'll just do a cube and we will set it to lock for the scale and just subtract, or we'll set it to be half size. So this way it'll be a one meter cube, or sorry, a half meter cube instead, and drag it out like so. So I'm going to change this to actually play as listen server. Doesn't really matter at the moment, but hit play. So when we press E on the cube, as you can see, it got destroyed. So that means we're casting to our interface correctly. And we're calling interact. Now, if you recall, we have this set to do nothing in our interface. 
But because we are inheriting from iInteractable Interface inside of item.h, right here, we are able to call this class's implementation of the interact function, which, in, well, in our case, we just simply destroy it. So we are good to go there. And now we can actually start working on, I guess, our structure and think about, you know, all the information that we're actually going to need to keep. So that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.